A community of nearly a thousand people in southwest Kansas has been without reliable drinking water for months. KSN's Keisha Batman has been investigating the problem in the subdivision just outside of Garden City and how some residents are coping there. That story from our southwest Kansas newsroom. At the Towns Riverview subdivisions here just outside of Garden City, water more times than not isn't available. And when it is, it's just a trickle, and KDHE says it may have contaminants. Sometimes, say, um, three or four, four hours, the, the water does not come in. The problem is seven hours and eight hours don't water. Maria has lived in the subdivision for more than two decades, but the last two months have left her with big frustrations. She's relying on bottled water to cook and drink and has to boil water to use for cleaning. And I need the water for every day, you know, uh, all day, all day, because, you know, and I have the problem to the COVID-19 and I need washer the hands. Maria is one of nearly 970 residents in the subdivision outside of Garden City, living without reliable, safe water. This is what the water pressure looks like in Maria's home. The KDHG says some homes are only receiving four to five pounds of pressure in their water lines. The KDHG requires at least 20 pounds of pressure. When there's not enough pressure, contaminants can be spread in the water. We're doing everything we possibly can, you know. Delmer Towns II manages the town's Riverview water system. Because it is a subdivision outside of the city limits, he is considered the public utility for this area. He says the system is actively being worked on, but there's no set timeline for when the system will be fixed. It's just slow going. There's days we run shovels for all day, and then the next day we shut water off and try to fix as many valves as we can. As of May 8th, the KDHE has issued an emergency administrative order that will remain in place until the system is returned to compliance. But while the long-term solution is still in the works, community members have come together to help by delivering free cases of water to each household. Water is a basic need, so um, Centura was able to get their hands on some bottled water and get it to us, so we took that opportunity to get it out to the people. The subdivisions have had ongoing water issues for multiple years. Stay with us at 6. We'll take a deeper look into the continuing issues. Here for you in Finney County, Keisha Batman, KSN News 3. An ongoing struggle for clean drinking water in a Garden City neighborhood has state health officials stepping in. At times, the town's Riverview subdivision you see here goes hours without running water. KSN's Keisha Batman from our reports from our Southwest Kansas newsroom. At the town's Riverview subdivisions, water problems are nothing new. Years of hard work trying to get residents safe drinking water and adequate pressure have yet to fully solve the issue. Well, the, the water and I, and I have problems for two years. Residents like Maria have been dealing with years of frustration. The problem started in 2017 after high uranium levels and other contaminants forced the wells serving the residents to be shut down. A water line was then extended from Garden City a mile and a half east to supply the nearly 250 homes in the subdivision at a cost of half a million dollars to the subdivision manager. Then booster pumps were installed to regulate the pressure and feed the water to the houses. The entire plan uh, was submitted by Delmer and his engineer uh, to KDHE and KDHE signed off on uh, the water uh, being okay and the water pressure being okay. But after multiple issues with the booster pumps, faulty valves, pipe breaks and an aging water system, maintaining water pressure became an issue. Sometimes there's two times a week and the, the water is shut up for probably for seven hours. Delmer Towns II has taken over the subdivision management for his aging grandfather. He says he's frustrated too. So we spent that kind of money to get the water, the water booster pumps out here and it was supposed to fix everything and take care of everybody and it doesn't. The KDHE issued an emergency order on May 8th saying a permanent fix has become a top priority. So now we got a bunch of valves changed out. Um, trying to get the well going. Uh, we have an engineer with a plan to loop our lines to try to get it pressure from the backside. So it's just a matter of time until we can get that figured out. There's no question that there's activity taking place and has been for quite some time. 
Right now, the long-term solution for the issue is still up in the air. As for now, Towns is asking his residents to stop watering their lawns in hopes that it will increase pressure and give the water technicians enough time to solve the issues. Here for you in Finney County, Keisha Babin, KSN News 3. Oh, thanks to some volunteers, some people in Finney County have clean drinking water. But as KSN's Keisha Batman reports, a lot more needs to be done to fix the issue. She has that story from our Southwest Kansas newsroom. The Garden City community has stepped up to help out the residents at Towns Riverview subdivisions. However, this isn't the typical bottled water delivery. Instead, there's a tanker truck. An unreliable water system. It's something Donalda Martinez says she has dealt with for years. It's, just, it's frustrating. It's frustrating that sometimes we may have it, sometimes we may not, sometimes it's clean, sometimes it's not. They may tell us, they may not tell us, and we are still paying our water bill every single month. Martinez is not the only one with water issues. It's just there's so many people out there. We're talking about a thousand people um, needing water. Those nearly thousand residents have been delivered over 1,600 cases of water in the last two months. Now there is some more relief. A 7,000 gallon tanker truck has arrived. Neighbors are able to get fresh water. It made me feel good because we realized that somebody was actually paying attention to us out here for a change. The KDHE issued an emergency administrative order and it will remain in place until the system is back up to compliance. The man in charge, Delmer Towns II, says that they are working on the issues, but it's unclear when it will be finished. Here for you in Finney County, Keisha Batman, KSN News 3.